Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install hacks on Home Assistant Core. So, um, I made a Big Bear script to make this as easy as possible because that's what I like to do is make it easy for y'all. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over our home labs, we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Hacks Home Assistant Community Store. It, uh, it hosts uh, co community uh, integrations, plugins, app da Damien apps, and Python scripts, themes, and net da Damien apps, uh, deprecated. Um, this will be on GitHub or repos, so you can see the source code before you install it. But it just makes it to where you can easily install the community uh, ones that aren't officially in the integrations uh, in the official core of Home Assistant. Um, this is what it looks like, a Home Assistant community store, integrations, front end, automations, add-ons. Uh, you won't have the automations or the add-ons um, on the Home Assistant core. You'll have integrations and front end. Um, so if we go through here, you'll see integrations, and then you can explore down here and download them. And then you can add a repository. So this is what we will be installing today on Home Assistant core Docker containers. So I did make a script uh, to easily install hacks on a Home Assistant Docker. Um, this was suggested by these three people, so thank you for that. Uh, and the uh, goal of this script is to make it extremely easy to where you just run this right here. And it walks you through the steps and it gets it installed. And then you'll finish the install in Home Assistant. So now I did link to the script from this forum post, and I will have a link down in the YouTube description for this forum post and to get to everything. So uh, this script is on GitHub in Big Bear Scripts. So I'm going to go to it. And um, now we're in install hacks in Home Assistant Docker. And um, I'm gonna go on the run.sh because this is where the source is. So now we're gonna check if Docker is installed and then we're going to get all the list of the running uh, Docker containers. And then we're going to uh, specify that we only want the name of the containers. And then we're going to check if there are any running uh, containers. If not, print the error message and exit. Um, we're going to display a prompt for the user to select a Docker cont container. And um, then we're going to display... Uh, and, and have the user pick which Docker container appear that they want. And um, then we're going to de-increment de the user choice. And we're going to validate the user selection right here. And then we're going to add the uh, selection from here to the container name a variable. And then um, we're going to execute the Docker uh execute and then the container name and bash wget and then this is the official wget from the hacks uh, a website then we're going to print the confirmation message that that the script has been executed and select the cont container um so that's a bit about what the script does so now in that same form post i'm going to scroll down to run command and i'm going to copy this command right here and then I'm going to SSH into my server and run it. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I've SSH into my server, and I'm going to um, paste in the command that we copied over on the form post. And then when we do that, we're going to press return or enter. And then it says, please select a Docker container to run hacks download script in. And the Big Bear Home Assistant right here is the one that we want. Uh, I already do have a Home Assistant core set up. Uh, 
So if you need to set up a Home Assistant Core Docker container, then I have videos on that as well. I'm going to um, pr press one for the one over here and I'm going to return or enter. So now it's connecting to and it's downloading and it's getting set up and it got it set up. So hacks da a download script has been executed inside the Big Bear Home Assistant container. So we got the hacks installed. So now I'm going to start on my Home Assistant and um, you won't see the hacks over here yet. I'm going to go into developer tools and then now I'm going to go over to restart and then I'm going to restart my Home Assistant. And then once this completes, um, we can go ahead and uh, install the integration. So now um, we want to see hacks over here eventually. So we need to add the integration to make that happen. So I'm going to go down to settings and then uh, devices and services. And then now I'm going to go down to add integration and I'm going to type in hacks. So this depends on the cloud and it's a custom integration. I'm going to click it. And before you can set up hacks, you need to uh, acknowledge the following. I know how to access the home system logs. I know that there are no add-ons in hacks. I know that everything inside hacks, including hacks itself, is custom and untested by Home Assistant. I know that if I get issues with Home Assistant, I should disable all my custom components. And then you can also enable experimental features. So uh, these features will be in Hacks 2.0, and if you enable it right now, then uh, they will be on, on there, and you won't get them new when Hacks 2.0 comes out. Um, and you don't need to do anything. So you can check mark that if you'd like. I'm going to say submit. And now it's going to ask you to go to this GitHub link. You're going to go to it, sign into your GitHub account, and then you're going to need to copy this before you go to this link. And then you'll go to it and you'll put this in and it'll, uh, it'll authorize you to, it'll authorize hacks to use this GitHub account. So I'm going to go do that real quick and then I'll be right back. So now you should see, congratulations, you are all set and, and your device is now connected. And you'll, you'll see created configuration for, and then I'll say finish. So now we can re refresh the page and now you see hacks over here. So we did get it uh, added in the integrations. So now I'm going to show you how to access the logs. Um, so if anything goes wrong, um, you can go to settings and then you can go to system and then you can go to logs right here. And now you can see what happens. You can go into it and see more details. Um, you can X out of here. You can download the full log. You can load full logs down here and it'll lo lo load more logs. Um, so this is great to know. And you can also search them. And you can reload the logs right here. You can clear out the logs completely. And um, so that's a little bit about how to access the logs. So now I'm going to go over to the hacks. So I'm going to click it. And now you can see the only integration that's downloaded, and that's hacks. You can see the download stars and when it's updated, the, ca uh, the category, the repository, update information, re-download it, and open issue. So hacks just downloads it inside of a folder. So when you download anything on hacks, you'll need to go over to developer tools right here and then restart uh, to restart the Home Assistant. Um, now, if you go back over here, and if you want to see more of the integrations that are available, you can go over here to clear, and that cleared it out and made it to where you can see all the integrations. So Alexa Media Player right here, you can click on it, and you can see the authors, uh, the, uh, the downloads, the stars, and um, the issues. So... If you want to see the source code, you can just go in the issues and you can go here and now you can go to the custom components and now you can look through the source code. So I'm going to go backwards. So when you're in here, uh, they list a readme right here. You can, you can go in installation configuration and further documentation. So if you want to download this one, you'll just go to download right here. 
And a lot like I was saying, it's going to be downloaded in config, custom components, and then Alexa Media. And then uh, you need to remember to restart Home Assistant. And then now once we download it, and now if you see that it's downloaded now, so we can go ahead and go backwards, and we can filter by just the, um, the downloaded, and then save. And then now I'm going to reload the page. So now you can see that it is downloaded right here. And um, we'll need to go over to developer tools and restart the Home Assistant. So Home Assistant, I started back up. So we can go ahead and go to settings and then the integrations. And then now add integration down here. So now you'll see another custom integration. So the Alexa Media Player right here. So it depends on the cloud. You, it, it, it says a custom integration right here. So that means it's normally coming from hacks or it's inside of the directory already and you put it there. Uh, so it'll just uh, download, uh, it'll just start like a regular integration wheel. So that's a little bit about how to get hacks working. So I just went over step by step and showed you how to access logs, get hacks uh, completely set up from start to finish. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.